Hello and welcome to Let's Medicine. So today the topic of discussion is peptic ulcer disease. What is peptic ulcer disease? A peptic ulcer disease refers to both the duodenal ulcer and the gastric ulcer disease. And they cannot be distinguished from each other without endoscopy. So how does this peptic uh, name came? There was a mistaken belief that a protein digestic enzyme called pepsin caused this peptic ulcer disease. So that's how the peptic, peptic ulcer disease name came. Etiology. The most common cause of peptic ulcer disease is Helicobacter pylori and the second most common cause is NSAIDs. How does NSAIDs cause peptic ulcer disease? NSAIDs uh, basically inhibit prostaglandins that uh, produces the mucus. That mucus then makes a protective barrier on the stomach. So when the prostaglandins are inhibited by the NSAIDs, there won't be any protective uh, layer on the stomach and hence the peptic ulcer disease will occur. A high yield point to remember is that NSAIDs produce more bleeding than pain. The less common causes of peptic ulcer disease are burns, head trauma, Crohn disease, gastric cancer and gastrinoma, also called as zollinger ellison syndrome. So a patient of peptic ulcer disease will present uh, with the rec recurrent episodes of epigastric pain and he'll describe it them and he'll describe them as dull, sore and gnawing. Gnawing means a consistent uh, pain. Although the most common cause of upper GI bleed is uh, peptic ulcer disease. A high yield point to remember is that there is no way to diagnose a peptic ulcer disease without endoscopy or barium studies. Uh, Okay, what's the difference between duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer? Uh, duodenal ulcer is improved with eating, while the gastric ulcer is worsened, worsened by eating. Hence, the gastric ulcer is associated with weight loss. Diagnostic tests. Upper endoscopy is the most accurate test for the diagnosis of peptic ulcer disease. Vector pylori testing is also uh, done. Treatment. Peptic ulcer disease will respond to PPI in over 95% of cases, but it can recur if there is H. pylori uh, infection, so the H. pylori infection must be eradicated. So how the H. pylori infection is eradicated? Uh, it's uh, eradicated uh, with the PPIs in combination with uh, uh, two antibiotics, uh, PPIs that is combined with clarithromycin and amoxicillin, uh, and if uh, this uh, therapy does not respond, then metronidazole and tetracycline can be used as alternative uh, antibiotics. Adding uh, bismuth to a change of antibiotic may aid in resolution of treatment resistant ulcers. Okay, we do the biopsy of uh, H. pylori if the biopsy of H. pylori comes to be positive and uh, there is no penicillin allergy then we give PPIs with clarithromycin and amoxicillin and if there is a penicillin allergy then with PPIs we give clarithromycin and metronidazole. And in both the cases, uh, we uh, do the post-therapy uh, testing for education uh, after 30 to 60 days. Well, that was pretty much it about peptic ulcer disease. Thank you for watching. Meet you in another video.